I know, completely weird title. What is the Beauty Lover Snowball video, Snowball Effect video? Well, let me tell you, it comes from taking a poll from you guys on the community tab about the videos that you absolutely hate to see. And there were so many, but inside of those videos that you were talking about, there were ideas for good videos that we do do on the beauty channels. And so I thought, why not take all of those great ideas and put them into one big video and you get to see all of the fun things that you really do like about beauty videos. I'm really excited to be doing five of those. So let's get into those five different videos right now. All right, the first one that you said that you didn't care for was first impressions. I get it. It's hard to know how something will work with a first impression, whether or not it's going to be something that that YouTuber will appreciate over time, whether or not it performed the way that it said it was supposed to. Well, I decided to combine a first impression with a long-term review on this new LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Serum Founda Serum Concealer, Brightening Concealer. I'm gonna show you right here in a clip how it did apply. I have this on today, and I can tell you that I am very impressed with this concealer. It is a concealer that completely covers. It is full coverage, just like it says. A little tiny bit goes a long way. However, if you need a little bit more coverage in certain areas, like I do in the troughs that I get right there that are so dark, then you can put a little bit more on. The other thing is that for me, it doesn't crease. It flexes with my skin. You know, there are creases that I have and crinkles that I have underneath there that things will settle in if it's very very hot. That is every single concealer I own. However, I can set this down with just a little bit of powder and it doesn't detract from the beauty of the concealer or the coverage and it doesn't make it look super dry. I am in love with it. I have been wearing it for weeks now since I got it and it is a really, really good one. And I'm so glad that it's only $18 as compared to some of those that are in the $30 plus dollar range. It's still a really beautiful concealer that I can recommend if you have mature skin or if you're worried about dry skin or crinkles underneath your eyes. I do like it very much. And by the way, I have had this on for a few hours now and there's it's no not moving not doing not budging not doing anything i would say that you're going to start to look i this is me this is how i do every single time i put on a concealer at about hour 10 i'm going to start to get dry underneath there it just seems like everything gets sucked in underneath there that's me. That's what's going to happen every time. So just take that with a grain of salt if you don't get like 15 hours of wear out of it. It's because I don't ever get 15 hours of wear out of any concealer. All right. The next one that so many of you talked about that you actually did like was empties because you felt like it was something that people used up and that they could actually tell you whether or not they liked the bottle. I'm going to show you what I use up almost every single month, a whole bottle of this and it's the L'Oreal L-Vive 8 Second Wonder Water Hair Transforming Rinse Out Conditioner. This has done wonders for my hair. The first time I used it, I could not believe how silky soft it left my hair after I rinsed it out and how my hair was not weighed down. Lots of conditioners will weigh my hair down because it is fine and it is quite thin, but this one just does a fantastic job. And I have had this on my channel many, many times times. But in going through my empties, this is the one that I grabbed because I feel like it's the one that has the most impact on me right now. And I feel like it's one of those ones that I I think everybody would really enjoy having because it just works that well. So for hair, soft, silky, and shiny, this is the ticket for me. Okay, the next video that you like to see a lot are faves and fails. So you like to know what our favorites are, but you also like to know what not to buy. And that's usually in a monthly video that we do, right? So I wanted to share with you a skincare item that it has been an absolute favorite for me ever since I got it 
approximately four weeks ago. This is the DNA code for all skin types, copper peptides, daily firming cream. And this thing is loaded with so many good things. Argireline, Matrixol 3000, the copper peptides. I had to grab my glasses so I could see the rest of it. It's got SNAP8, Hyaluronic Acid, Pen Penetrapeptide 18, not sure what that is. And then it's got a bunch of other ones in there. But it also boasts a lot of organic ingredients like aloe vera juice, uh, palm oil, sunflower seed oil, squalane, grapeseed oil, evening primrose oil, jojoba oil. This is so loaded with so many good ingredients. And I was using the Ordinary with Copper Peptides. That's about a one, an one ounce bottle. This is four ounces and it is the the most beautiful nice cream it feels soft almost like almost like whipped cream and it just goes right into your skin i wear this right before i put on my heavy moisturizer at night one of the things i will tell you is this is kind of an all-encompassing serum and moisture and all of the yummy things so if you're using this, I would say don't use a ton of other serums. I still use my Cranicel Bifida Serum with this at night. So I'll put my Cranicel, I'll cleanse my skin, put my Cranicel on, then I'll put this on and I'll let everything sink in until my skin feels a little bit tacky, almost like it's all drying in. And then I'll go in with my heavy duty moisturizer. This is fantastic. I love it. I use it about three to four times a week and it has just been a savior for my skin and all of those fabulous ingredients that are in there. I'm really enjoying it. Really, really enjoying it. Now a fail for the month. This one right here is from L'Oreal Paradise and this is the lip and cheek tint and it is in Madame Pink number 40. This is water it's just plain water i don't like it at all it's not got a good texture to it i go across my skin and you can't even see that anything is there i mean i put a big amount on there's nothing there i it doesn't tint it doesn't do anything this was a huge fail for me so if you see it in the in the store you just know that Melissa didn't like it. Um, you know, you can do what you want to with it, but it really was not one that I liked at all. All right, the next video that you guys love seeing, not only did you talk about it in that community poll, but you also watched this more than any of my other videos, and that's my dupes video. You guys just seem to absolutely love my dupes videos, and it's fun to be able to get a product at the drugstore that is every bit as good as high-end. So I brought you a dupe that I was saving for a whole entire dupes video, but let's talk about it now. This is the Benefit Professional Light Primer. This is a primer that doesn't have any silicone, any oil in it, anything like that. It is a very odd textured primer. So I'm going to show it to you. It comes out like that. Do you see how it's, it's just weird. It looks like kind of like a little worm on my hand right there. But when you rub it in, now keep in mind, I did just put this over top of that L'Oreal, but I am rubbing it in over here and it rubs in like a dream. And all of a sudden, it just makes your skin feel silky and beautiful and it gets this watery texture to it and it is lovely. It is one of those ones that I don't know how it does it. I don't know what it uses to definitely make your skin look flawless and look airbrushed underneath your foundation, but it does it. But this is the very tiny trial size and you don't get very much in here and it costs a lot. Well, I learned about this one, the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer Base. I think I learned about this one on one of the first videos that Tati had when she came back. This is pretty darn exact what that one is. Now this one kind of spits at me sometimes, so I have to be careful about squeezing it out, but it's got the same exact texture. It comes out in that weird texture of, it looks like it's gonna be a solid almost, and then you start to rub it in and it has this silky, just watery, hydrating, um, 
uh, perfecting look to it. And as it sinks into your skin, it becomes this amazing primer that looks beautiful under concealer. So with these two, we have a definite, definite dupable item going on here. It might not be exact per ingredient, but I'm telling you when it came out of the tube, how it lays down on the skin, how they feel, it feels pretty darn close. So you're gonna save a whole lot of money. So that's the dupe that I wanted to bring you for the actual dupe videos that you guys love so much. All right, the last one that you talked about is you want to see products in action. And I think there's two videos in here. So you want to see people kind of do more application videos of the makeup that they get, but you also want to get some tips and some tricks. I'm somebody that wants to get tips and tricks all the time as well. So right now I'm gonna bring you a new trick that I just learned. This is very different because I have only tried this a couple of times, bear with me. I'm using a Morphe brush. It, I don't even know which one it is. It's a Morphe M something. I'll put up on the screen. I can't see without my glasses. So I'm using a Morphe brush, right? This is a teeny tiny thin brush. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my lightest Kosas concealer and I'm going to paint on there. I know, this seems weird. I'm just gonna paint on there a small line of that concealer. I have to look down because my mirror is right here, but I'm gonna take the coated side of the brush handle and I'm gonna lay it down in the middle of my nose. You guys know I shake, so this is, this is hard for me, but we're gonna get through it. So I'm gonna lay that down in the middle of my nose like so. So I'm just putting that middle of my nose and then I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna just tap that in and brighten up the middle of my nose. Just brighten it up. If I need to put it on again, I'm gonna put it on one more time. Brighten it up, okay? All right, so the middle of my nose is brightened up. Now I'm gonna clean it off, clean that um, handle completely off with my brush. And I'm gonna take this brush right here, which is just the small stipple brush from e.l.f. I'm gonna take that brush. By the way, did I say this is contouring your nose? I do not like to contour my nose, but I have been seeing lately some contour that looks pretty darn natural and their noses look really beautiful and elongated. So I'm taking the small stipple brush from e.l.f. I'm taking the Fenty, Be Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out in Amber. This is their cream bronzer. She calls it her contour too. And I'm loading that brush up pretty good. I don't wanna to get too carried away, but that's pretty loaded. So I'm gonna just kind of tap it off a little bit. I'm gonna lay that brush ferrule, that brush handle, right back down onto my nose where I just lightened it. And I'm going to now just, let's see if I can do it without getting you guys' view skewed from it. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay that down. I can already see that it's bringing some contour. I'm gonna not move the handle very much and I'm gonna just go down my nose just a little bit, and you're gonna see, look what it did. It completely contoured my nose. Okay, so it doesn't look that great right now. Now just take your hand and just blend the two together. And you just keep blending until you get to where you want. Now, I am noticing that right off the bat that it did, when I laid that handle down, it did take off some of the middle, really light part of my nose contour, not the contour, but the light part right in the middle. The, the nice thing about doing this like this is number one, I don't feel like they give you racing stripes. I'm gonna put a powder in there, right in that middle part, because it took off so much with that ferrule of that brush or that handle of that brush, if I can open this dang powder. The other side of that brush is this teeny tiny little flat shader brush or a little flat paddle brush. So I'm gonna load it up with this L'Oreal powder, and then I'm just going to try my handshake like a bugger, and I'm gonna just try really hard to just go down my nose. Whoopsie, I knew I would do that my hands are so shaky and no i'm not nervous i have a palsy as most of you know okay so hopefully i didn't make my nose too crooked basically that's it you put on the line of the really light and then you take this and you buff it over to make your nose look longer you might have to go down your nose 
just a little bit really lightly to kind of deepen if you want to. Like I said, I'm not one that does the nose contour very much, but I've been noticing women with noses that like mine that have the little bulb on the end right here that they have been doing this and it works really good. So that's the tutorial and that is number five in this snowball video. This video contained five different things that we love about watching beauty videos and I hope that you did enjoy seeing it because I had all kinds of fun coming up with it and thinking that I wanted to chuck in this video as much as I possibly could. So thanks so much for being here with me. Tell me in the comment section whether or not this is something that you liked. Thank you guys, I love you. Let's meet back in my very next video. Please take care of yourselves. Stay happy and stay healthy. Kiss those babies and grandbabies and I'll see you. Bye-bye, my friends. <laughs>